everybody, and this is Chaos with Chaos Esports Production, bringing you placement match number two for Heart of the Swarm. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, starts out, we've got PVT on Whirlwind. Now, Whirlwind is by far the biggest, I, I don't know, it, it, as far as distances go, it's about comparable to... Cross positions probably relatively comparable to Daybreak, uh, but this map is huge. Um, you know, let's just let's take a gander quickly. Uh, you you know you start out in your main base. Uh, you have a very accessible natural with a rather large ramp. Uh, your third base is over here to the left. Now there's a, another rather large ramp followed by another. Eh, medium-sized ramp with a set of rocks that can be uh, hit down. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of general like opening. Um, so I'm gonna open up with a you know typical nine pylon scout, uh, no big deal. Uh, let's go ahead and keep it on my vision. Mm, yeah, let's do that. Um, so yeah, so nine pylon scout. Um, PVT. Uh, I generally like going for. Uh, I guess I didn't do it this game. I generally like going for a 13 gate because uh, depending on obviously where you spawn, uh, if your cross position is pretty far, so you can usually get away with the 13 gate and have no problem, even if they do go ahead and apply early pressure. Um, just a little bit more economical, uh, you know, gets you that. It, it just makes the rest of the build a lot smoother. You're not like Cra you know, craving minerals or anything. Once you get to like where the time you build your um your cybernetics or yeah your cyber core, um, and then we get this little fun message about two minutes into the game. And don't get me wrong, when people do this on the ladder, you can choose to take it one of two ways. I choose to I I choose to say that uh. 80% of the time, that's usually a fair indication that you're going to see some kind of shenanigans going on. Um, so we see, you know, we go up the ramp, we see that uh, he's walled off, so we have no idea what kind of gas timing he has or anything. Uh, back, we're just continuing to build probes, and then I choose to go ahead and get the zealot first, um, since I see this kind of potential early aggression. Um, send my probe home, uh, build on my, get on my uh, second second gate um, and as far as PVT goes this is kinda pretty standard you know we get our get our um, warp gate research and very soon we'll, we should be seeing a stalker come out of here once they get enough minerals uh, maybe wow I missed a probe really okay well that was a little sloppy but um, anyways so yeah so get, a, get our stalker uh, and then, you know, like I kind of mentioned in the first placement match, I really like to, um, you know, especially when you, you know, you have no idea what's going on, I like to kind of push out with the uh, the Zealot and the Stalker. That way we can get some, you know, some some sense of map vision as well as kind of get a general sense of, you know, if we're dealing with uh, something, some type of early pressure, you know, uh, an early expand. So uh, continue to get probes out and then we pull out, with, uh, push out with our... Stalker and a zealot. Um, uh, due to these lovely, I don't know, what do you call those? I guess giant grass. Uh, you know, find find the marine hidden, and then we kind of see there's something over here. We were kind of, I was a little worried that I was going to get SCV. I mean, not SCV, but um, bucket rushed. So I, you know, I kind of look over here, see what I can see. Um, Kit Weezer up, and I. At this point, I kind of want to continue, you know, like I said, I, I kind of thought at the beginning uh, this could be a pretty good sign of early pressure. Uh, so I choose to continue to add on stalkers and kind of, you know, I see no no expansion, so I'm a little worried. Um, so I walk up with the zealot just to kind of see what I can see, and I see lots of marines and three wrecks. Well, not locks, just six for now, but that's a lot of production for a, uh, for a Terran player who is, you know, clearly not expanding. Uh, so yeah, so I choose to kind of go for like a three gate push to see what I can do. Uh, since, you know, obviously I'm, I'm floating a lot of minerals, which isn't ideal. But, um, you know, I'm sitting here kind of 
ur- you know, waiting. I, I know this push is coming, so I'm like, eh, let's wait, see what we can see. I get a couple shots off with my stalkers, and then I kind of push back to my uh, two stalkers that are rallying, and then my zealot immediately gets taken out, and then I'm like, oh, snap, got a micro. Um, and micro back the second stalker. Uh, continue on going. Micro back. Uh, he kills the probe. Uh, and we pretty much get out of here unscathed. Um, don't lose a single stalker, which is actually really good. Um, still, uh, I really need to learn how to macro behind this. Um, clearly that is one of my faulty problems, but, you know, I kind of save it so I can get another round of stalkers in before I go and see what I see. Um, so yeah, so we poke him with the stalkers, uh, take kind of some of the... And we see three marines and we get this lovely message uh saying cheese and i'm like well is this really cheese or were you really cheesing with the three racks um so yeah so i so i walk into his base and i'm like well um yeah just gonna continue on terrorizing his base with my units and he's like so bad mannered um, so yeah, at this point, the game is more or less over, but basically what it all boils down to is it's just a matter of, you know, figuring out what your opponent's doing and kind of understanding how, you know, how to react to it. Um, I could have easily, I, I could have easily expanded, uh, earlier than I currently am. Obviously I've got a fair amount of probes on my main and I'm not really making any more. I'm just kind of hunting down as SCVs. But, um, you know, one thing, if I were to do it over again, I would definitely want to get this gas up a lot earlier, have this expansion already down. Uh, you know, obviously I could have had that down probably four minutes ago, five minutes ago maybe. Um, so yeah, so pretty much game over at this point. I'm just, you know, kind of hunting, hunting down his bases. I choose to send the zealots in. Now, whenever you get into these situations, um, be a little cautious, because you never know what could have happened. Like, um, I'll go ahead and speed it up, just to give you a kind of a sense. Now, I'll, I'll pause it. I, I went ahead and chose to get the Stargate, just because I'm like, well, he's floating around bases, I'd really just want to get out of this game. Um, and, you know, so so I send it over, look for the... Uh, look for the orbital command and I say okay you're dead uh, no big deal and finally I find a marine I kill it and I'm like wait a second he it hasn't said that he's being revealed so I'm like oh crap he's got another bit he's got another race so I do a little search around and we find this now if I don't scout this for a minute. I'm not going to say that I would lose, but it definitely gives him a better shot at surviving. Um, you know, it's obviously, for him, it's kind of really hard for him to come back. Uh, but just in general, you just got to be very careful, especially when you're playing your placement matches, because placement matches, you don't really know who you're playing as far as, like, skill level. Uh, so you just got to be aware that this type of shenanigans can occur and quite frankly is high probability so <laughs> just keep you know stick to the fundamentals uh you know it, it's it's all about your fundamentals when it comes to this game you know if if you don't have the fundamentals down you're you're going to struggle and it's you know that's kind of why you play you know you play to get the repetitions of you know continue building units and that kind of stuff um so yeah so we walk through this we take out all his marines and he's like i'm i'm, I'm done because you clearly cheese but i don't know let me know what you think uh I, i'm kind of curious would you consider this a cheese or or is this you know standard play to some degree um obviously i i wouldn't personally call it standard just because obviously i would have more bases and you know would be doing a lot better from a macro standpoint. But in general, you know, I, I scouted the three racks and I decided to play it as if, you know, that push that w- that came out of his, you know, that came out of his base at 
I don't even, I don't even remember. It was somewhere around the uh, six minute, uh, around the seven minute, yeah, six thirty, six seven minute mark. You know that push. If that kills these stalkers, I mean, he's just going to continue rallying units and walk over here, and I have to have an answer for it. So you know, I played it. I played it. You know, kind of how I thought it needed to be played out. So. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this game. Uh, I'll be doing the rest of the placement matches here in the next couple of days or so, uh, if not tonight. Uh, so yeah, so feel free to subscribe. Uh, check out my other videos, and uh, if you like the video, feel free to like. Uh, and that is all I have. I uh, hope to see you next time.